Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, for morning tea and lunch, I'm sure. Uh, coming to you now is uh, Prime Minister Hipkins, and it's sort of a little bit corny to say put your hands together for him when he's not here, but enjoy his comments. Have a great conference. Thanks very much. 10 koutou katoa, nā mihi nui ki a koutou, and thank you for inviting me to kick off this year's Red Meat Sector Conference. It's been a tough year for the food and fibre sector. Devastating weather events have affected a large proportion of North Island farms, and many of you will have been affected by this in some way or another. You've shown an incredible amount of resilience through some challenging times. I know for those in the worst hit regions, there continues to be a long road to recovery ahead. I want to assure you that the government remains committed to helping our rural communities to rebuild. The red meat sector plays a leading role in New Zealand's economic growth and ongoing prosperity. And I'd like to acknowledge everyone here today for the work that you do. The theme for this year's conference, driving sustainability, value and growth, is something that the government places a great degree of value on. Working in partnership with each other to reach sustainability and growth outcomes is critical, particularly as sustainability increasingly becomes a requirement to compete in overseas markets. My recent trips to Europe and to China reinforced the message that our clean green reputation is key to future-proofing the industry and cementing our export growth. Our trading partners want to know that we have strong sustainability credentials and that the food we produce isn't just good for them, it's good for the planet too. Our red meat sector is already well on the path towards sustainability transformation, backed by Kiwi farmers, rural businesses and our world-leading innovation. We remain committed to working with the sector leaders to implement a system to measure sustainability and to reduce emissions. We're also committed to supporting our exporters by opening doors wherever we can. Since 2017, the government secured or upgraded seven new free, free trade agreements. All of these will make a real difference for Kiwi businesses and exporters, but I'm particularly proud of our work with, to secure a free trade agreement with the United Kingdom and a free trade agreement with the European Union. The UK FTA will boost our GDP by up to a billion dollars a year and save $37 million in tariffs annually. For the red meat sector specifically, it'll see a transition to duty and quota free access for the first time in 50 years. The European Union Free Trade Agreement will give Kiwi businesses unprecedented access to the market, with quotas that if filled could see New Zealand provide 60% of the EU's butter imports and 96% of the EU's sheep meat imports. These are exciting opportunities for the sector and highlight that working together will be key to our success. While there will be times that we don't agree, we share the same objectives of the ongoing success of our sector and of our rural communities. This conference provides the opportunity to come together to celebrate successes, share ideas, make important connections, and plan for a future that will no doubt be challenging, exciting, and full of opportunities. I can't think of a better summary of the relationship between your sector and government as well. Challenging, exciting, and full of opportunities. I wish you all the very best for the next few days. 